Today we're going to find the equation of the graph polynomial, polynomial function in factor form, and we're going to find the exact value of the leading coefficient. So the first thing we should do is examine the zeros, and we should notice that there's a zero at negative 2, and since it is tangent to the x-axis, that tells us there's a double zero, a double root, or what's called a multiplicity of 2. we look at the other zero, we notice that it kind of flattens out. If you notice, it kind of flattens out here and then goes to the axis. And therefore, that's considered to be a triple root or, or a multiplicity of three. And now we should be able to write our function. So... Let's start. Y equals, we don't know what the leading coefficient is, so we'll put A. And now we know that there's a root at negative 2, so that gives us X plus 2. Since it's a multiplicity of 2, it's to the second power. And then we have a, another root at X equals 1, which means we have an X minus 1 factor. And it's a multiplicity of 3, so the exponent is 3. The next step is to find the leading coefficient, and the only way we can do that is if we know another point in the graph. So we select one. How about at negative 1, 4? So all we have to do now is substitute into our equation, and we should be able to find the value of A. So at negative 1, 4, Y is equal to 4, and A is equal to negative 1. So we substitute negative 1 for X. So instead of x plus 2 squared, you get negative 1 plus 2 squared. And then we have, instead of x minus 1, we have negative 1 minus 1 to the third power. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1, so that's squared. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, and that's cubed. 1 squared is 1, and negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. So we get negative 8a is equal to 4. Divide both sides by negative 8. We get a is equal to negative 4 eighths, which if we reduce is negative 1 half. And now we know what our final equation is going to be. And we'll write it up here in, in green. We get y equals negative one-half times x plus two squared times x minus one cubed. And that is our answer.